Ja, hallo und damit herzlich willkommen zu einer weiteren Folge Thimbleweed Park. Wir machen jetzt mal hier weiter. Das war das Auto. We interrupt our hostile takeover non-stop music with this important message. I've barricaded myself in the studio, playing the same song non-stop until the government fesses up to the vast conspiracy. And now back to our special hostile takeover song. What can I do for you, honey? What's up with the sheriff? He's kind of weirdo Reno. Yeah, he's kind of a nut job, but nothing compared to the coroner. This whole town has gotten downright weird in the last few years. Cuckooville. The coroner and the sheriff are the same person. Well, there might be some resemblance around the eyes, but that's about it. The sheriff does this annoying a Reno thing, and the coroner does an annoying a who. It pretty much proves they're not the same person. How does speech prove they are not the same person? You're asking a lot of questions that probably shouldn't be asked. I'm a federal agent. That's my job. I've said too much already. I'd like to order some food. Sure. Everything's on the menu board. What do you want? I'll have a hamburger. Sorry, honey. Those hot dogs are about to go bad, and I can't open a new package of hamburgers until they are all gone. I'd like to order some food. Sure. Everything's on the menu board. What do you want? Do you have a law enforcement discount? And by discount, I mean free. I think I understand, honey. And yes, we do. I'd like to order some food. Sure. Everything's on the menu board. What do you want? I'll have a hot dog. Good choice, honey. We're trying to move him out. Eat up, hon, while it's still hot. Oh my. That is the worst hot dog I've ever eaten. I, uh, gotta go. Okay. I feel better now. Nein, war eben gerade links. Eine Hand. Die unten Fuß. Lass mal hier gucken, was ist das überhaupt? Dimblecon 87. It's opening later tonight at the hotel. Whoa. What the fuck? Uh, what? Muss mich jetzt verarschen? Was war denn da immer da bei uns? It's a police radio. Looks like it's on and ready to use. Breaker one nine, breaker, breaker. <lacht> Attention, all units. Also hier hing auch mal was da hin, ist ein bisschen, bisschen dunkler. Enough screwing around, I've got a case to solve. Tja, ähm. Um No time to talk. We have to fix this slight leak. I'd really like to explore A Street. Street's closed until we fix this leak. Can I do anything to help? 
Well, the Hydratron's tube is obviously burned out. We could use a new one. A WC-67? Yeah, we're out of that size. Must have been the signals. Yes, the signals. Was für eine Psycho-Stadt mal wieder. Das kann doch echt wieder mal nur... It says, after 34 years of serving the tri thimbleweed County area, we had to close our doors. We should have listened to Chuck. Twin sisters are a dead end path. Tubes are the future. Thank you, our loyal customers. Also, ich jetzt erstmal hier ran und schauen wir mal. We interrupt our hostile takeover. Nons, what can I do for you, honey? What's up with the sheriff? He's kind of weird Reno. Yeah, he's kind of a nut job, but nothing compared to the coroner. This whole town has gotten downright weird in the last few years. Cuckooville. What's up with this town? Most of the stores are abandoned. Used to be the center of culture in the Tri-County area. Parties every night at the hotel. Celebrities visit the Edmund Mansion mansion. It was hard to not make money in those days. Of course, it was before my time. And since the pillow factory burnt down, the town is drying up faster than Dave's sex drive. Ain't that right, Dave? I'd like to order some food. Sure, everything's on the menu board. What do you want? I'll have a pie. Sorry, Dave ate the last piece. See, Dave? I told you a customer would want it. Those foreign city folks really love the pie. But no, you said. We seen the last of the city folks. Let me have the pie. It was starting to go bad. Shut up, Dave. I'd like okay. to order some food. Sure, everything's on the menu board. What do you want? hot dog? I'll have a hot dog. Good choice, honey. We're trying to move them out. Eat up, hon, while it's still hot. Okay, that is the worst hot dog I've ever eaten. I, um, gotta go. So, jetzt kotzt er auch mal. Was jetzt passiert? I feel better now. So, soll ich jetzt zurückgehen oder soll ich nicht zurückgehen, Leute? Was sagt ihr? Der Verstand sagt nein. Aber es hieß ja, ähm, es kann, es gibt keine Sackgassen, ne? Definitely Agent Ray's Notebook. I will of course refrain from perusing its contents. Agent Protocol. Was passiert, wenn ich da jetzt auch dran gehe? Ist er dann auch tot? Komm, wir probieren es einfach mal. Pretty disgusting. It's just a stack of empty boxes. I can't pull that. I can't pull that. Yes, I can use it by tossing something in it. It's locked. Thimblecon 87. It's opening later tonight at the hotel. Ein Staubkorn. It's my speck of dust. <lacht> okay. What can I do for you, honey? Thanks for your help. We'll be back if we have any more questions. Anytime. I 
get sick just looking at it. Oh, ich nehme noch einen. Ich lasse mir noch einen Hotdog geben. What can I do for you, honey? I'd like to order some food. Sure, everything's on the menu board. What do you want? I'll have the swine sex. Sorry, honey. Foreign businessmen got the last one a few nights ago. Been a big rush on exotic foods these past few weeks. I'd like to order some food. Sure, everything's on the menu board. What do you want? I'll have a salad. Sorry, we're out of salad. Safe and scare. <lacht> Alles, like was auf der Karte food. steht. Sure, Hotdogs. everything's on the menu board. What do you want? I'll have a hamburger. Sorry, honey. Those hot dogs are about to go bad, and I can't open a new package of hamburgers until they are all gone. I'd like to order some food. Sure, everything's on the menu board. What do you want? I guess I'm not hungry. Okay. Thanks for your help. We'll be back if we have any more questions. Anytime. Da ist noch ein Staubkorn. Soll ich den Staubkörnern jetzt folgen? Filled to the brim with smelly trash. Da ist noch ein Staubkorn. Let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Alrighty now. Um, based on your sign, I was kind of expecting this place to be a bakery. Sorry about that, hon. This used to be Ricky's Cakes, but now we sell vacuum tubes. <laughs> Sounds okay. like an interesting turn of events. Anyway, I'm Special Agent Reyes. I have some questions for you. Oh, pleased to meet you. I'm Ricky Lee, and I'm the proprietor of this little store. What can I do for you, hon? Since you don't sell cakes anymore, what's your store called now? Not really sure. I've been bouncing a few ideas around since the pivot. I don't suppose you have any suggestions. Tuk Town. Völlig ungerührt. Oh, that's a great name. I'm so lucky you wandered in today. The kindness of strangers is amazing. Glad I could help. Why did you stop selling cakes? Well, I didn't have much choice. People used to line up around the block for my muffins and pies. But over the past couple of years, business really slowed down. Oh, I'm not complaining, though, because it's given me an opportunity to go in a whole new direction. Why did you choose to sell vacuum tubes instead? Well, hon, it's the darndest thing. At first, I just sold a few spares I had lying around to try and help the bakery. But pretty soon those bad boys were selling better than the hotcakes going stale on my racks. Are you really this happy about selling vacuum tubes? Oh, you betcha. These tubes are my life's calling. I thought I'd miss the smell of fresh bread every day, but the smell of ozone from the tubes is even better. And their electrical glow is as warm as an apple pie fresh from the oven. What do you think of Chuck? Oh, it's so sad that Chuck Edmund passed away. He was my hero. His booming economy gave us the bakery, and now his tube-based technology is giving me a chance to keep my store open. I think it's just the boost the town needs. What do you think about the state of the town, then? It's not as bad as people make it out to be. A couple of stores have closed, sure. But it's just gonna make way for new, fresh businesses to bring life back to the town. I'm sure in no time at all, the town will be completely rejuvenated. I'm looking for a tube. 
We have lots of tubes here, over 3,000 different makes and models. Do you know the two-letter model identifier? And what is the make number? 65 war das, ne? BC65, ne? Let me see if we have them in stock. Hmm. I haven't seen Agent Ray for a while. Wonder what happened to her. <sighs> Bad news, I'm afraid. They seem to be on back order. Do you have another tube you're looking for? And what is the make number? Oh, did one of the Hydrantron tubes burn out again? Oh, oh yes. yes. The Pigeon Brothers need one right away. Okay, I'll put it on the town's account. I'll get one for you, hun. You just wait right there. I'll be back before you know it. Here you go. Give the pigeons my regards. That's auch wieder ein Staubkorn, ne? Komm, wir rufen mal hier an bei Alexander Maddock Albrecht 4389. Nee, mach ich besser nicht. Ich hab ja nur diese 10 Cent. I'm feeling some concern for Agent Ray. No time to talk. We have to fix this slight leak. I got your WC672. Thank you. Oh, fixed. Here's our card in case you need any more plumbing help. We'll just clean up here and be gone soon. out of business. Hmm, too bad. A root beer would have been nice. Get your geek on to the max at ThimbleCon 87. The playtime is over at the Park Arcade. Black Wanted. Booze donations. Help out old Willie with a country. I'd better start looking for Agent Ray. It's been tooled safely for savings. Where saving safely is saving smartly. Please, your sheriff wants you to be clean and green arena. Don't litter on the highway or vandalize the storefronts. You should also wear better clothes. Paid for by the Lenore Edmund Mulch Beautification of Thimblewood Park Project. Bust on down to the bakery, cause Ricky's Cakes is going out of business. The hotcakes are not as popular as we expected, so we're selling in bulk. 50% discount on Thimbleberry Pie when you grab one of Ricky's Sticky Buns. Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. Da Turn your dials to KSCUM 198.7 FM for the gnarliest hits from local artists. DJ Cassie says, I hope you like Tune Ahead. Stupendous Brothers Traveling Circus. Headline act, Ransom the Insult Clown. 
Minors must be accompanied by an adult, and if you're offended, it's your own beeping fault. Roses are red, pillows are white. Get our special bundle and stay up all night. $50 Valentine's special at Fancy Nancy Flowers, sponsored by Pillowtronics. I might break the tube. It's a color Copytron 3000. Welcome to the Thimbleweed Nickel. Eight years of experience and two degrees in journalism tells me you're a fed. I guess nothing gets by the press. You spend as much time as I have dealing with law enforcement. You get a second sense of this stuff. Plus the cheap suits. Mmm, mostly the cheap suits. What's the deal with your sheriff? Seems kind of oddorino. He is an oddball, but eh, so is everyone around here. And it's only gotten worse since Chuck died. Chuck Edmund? Chuck Edmund, the pillow magnet. He pretty much ran this town since the 50s and owns the giant pillow factory. His niece Dolores and her sister Lenore stand to inherit a fortune if they'll just stop fighting. What else do you know about Chuck? He started the pillow factory with his brother Franklin in the late 30s to make pillows for the war effort. Pillows win wars was their slogan. The factory and Chuck were the center of the thimbleweed social scene of the 50s. Go on. Chuck invested millions in automation and became an expert in AI. <laughs> Bardbark insemination? Artificial intelligence. Uh, computers that can think. He started automating the whole town. People tell me it was like living in the future. That's one of his machines over there, the Copytron 3000. Then... What? The big pillow factory fire happened and killed several workers, and the whole place was shut down. Many blamed the fire on over-automation and computer error. But I think Chuck manipulated the sheriff, and it was blamed on the security guard on duty at the time. But it was too late. Chuck was disgraced, and the factory's been closed for years. A dark shell of abandoned machinery. What do you know about the Pillow Factory security guard? Not much. He died in the fire and was blamed for the whole thing. But I have my doubts. I just need some evidence, and I can finish my big story and expose the whole thing. We're here investigating the murder. Know anything? Not much. Just what I heard over the police scanner. Body found in the river. I'll send my best reporter to check it out in the morning. Know who my best reporter is? You? If this damn town wasn't such a podunk, I'd have a couple of Pulitzers by now. This Pillow Factory fire story is my ticket out of here. We'll need a complete press blackout. Not with the First Amendment still in place. The core of a strong democracy is a strong press. Don't you mean the Fifth Amendment? Nope. That sets out rules for indictment by grand jury in eminent domain and protects the right to due process. What do you know about the Pillow Factory fire? 
I have my suspicions of a big cover-up arena, if you know what I mean. I've tried to gather evidence, but I've been blocked at every turn. It's a small town, so I have to watch the feathers I ruffle. Do you offer home delivery? Why? You plan on moving here? The town's got a charm to it. <laughs> nice chatting. <coughs> got a murder to solve. Where can Agent Ray be? Please don't mess with the police scanner. I'm waiting for a call about a man out by the circus holding an animal of some sort. Kutenberg would be proud. I'm not a printer. I don't know how to use an antique printing press. Tentakelsichtungen. Day of the Tentacle. Okay, da ist wieder ein, ein Querverweis. I don't want to open it. Mm. Agent Ray? Agent Ray, can you hear me? It's a map of the Tri Thimblewood Park County area. boarded up. Nothing to see here. Have you seen my dime? Hey, buy me a drink? You got any uh, secondhand crystals? You got any gluten-free donuts? I'm a federal agent and I have some questions for you. You know anything about the body found by the bridge? A body? I thought that was a log wearing a suit. Do you know anything about the body or not? What body? I thought we were talking about a log. Where do you sleep at night? I have a premium bit of cardboard real estate in the nicest part of the sewers. I've had almost no gator attacks. And there's even a grate for ventilation, so my sewer lung is even better than ever. What's that in your pocket? Looks like a wallet. I don't have a wallet. I'm a bum. I can see something is in your pocket. <laughs> Maybe I'm just happy to see you. It's in plain sight. I don't even need a warrant to just take it. It's mine, finders keepers. Hand over the wallet. Well, I can't give it to you. What would I put my money in? I don't care. See? It's not so easy, is it, Hotshot? I could arrest you for resisting a lawful search. Well, I may be a drunk bum, but I know my rights, and you need a warrant. Now look, you find me another wallet to keep all personals in, and this one is yours. It's coming apart anyway, not like those amazing Ransom the Clown wallets they used to sell before its career hit the skids. Now Ransom was an adulterer, a cheat, and complete... But he licensed good wallets. We'll play it your way. For now. 
Tell me what you know about Chuck. Uh, the man was an ass, and I'm glad he died of a heart attack. He ruined my life over nothing. How did Chuck ruin your life? Mr. Edmund made sure I was blacklisted in Thimbleweed Park. My so-called friends turned their backs on me. My watch repair business mysteriously burnt down, and I lost everything. Couldn't get dinner reservations, let alone a job. In the end, all I had left of my old life was my beloved Stradivarius. Why did Chuck try to ruin you? I took his girlfriend out to see that lame insult clown one night. But in my defense, Chuck changed girlfriends more often than he changed shirts. Well, how was I supposed to know she was flavor of the month for the Pilotronics Playboy? We'll talk later. Don't leave town. Where would I go? Thimbleweed Park guided tours? Wish I had a walkie-talkie so I could call Agent Ray. Hey, that's my favorite brand. <laughs> Too bad it's empty. Buy me some com- Thank you. Have you seen my dime? Thimbleweed Park guided tours? Hello again. We'll talk later. Don't leave town. Where would I go? You got any gluten-free donuts? You got any loose change? Have you seen my dime? Buy me some kombucha? Thimbleweed Park guided tours? Have you seen my dime? Excuse me. Be with you in a second. Yeah, I'm pretty swamped right now. How can I help? Oh God, there she is. I'm a federal agent. Know anything about the body out by the bridge? You're a federal agent? I work for Uncle Sam too. As one government agent to another, I'll do what I can to assist. Do you know anything about the body out by the bridge? No, everyone in town is still collecting their mail as usual. No one from my route is missing, and I would definitely notice if they were. I mean, not to brag, but I did consider joining the feds. It's just not as prestigious or as challenging as postal work. Know any good postal jokes? Oh, you bet I do. Why are postal workers such great comedians? They have a special delivery, huh? <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Good one. Why is there so much mail to sort when the town seems deserted? That's classified information. As a federal agent, you should know it's my duty to uphold the privacy and the sanctity of the mail. Unless it pertains to an investigation and you have all the necessary paperwork, I can't help you. Who is all this mail addressed to? I can't tell you. It would be a federal crime. I would assume you knew that, being a federal employee and all. Or is this some sort of sting to catch crooked mail clerks? Because I keep things ship-shape here in the Thimbleweed branch, so there's no need to worry about us here. Tell me a good postal joke. What did the mailman say to the customer who asked if he could ship a donkey in the mail? They told her they'd haul ass and find out! <laughs> <laughs> Another good one. Know any other postal jokes? What do postal workers do on their vacation? They go to the travel agent and book a package deal! <laughs> you should do stand-up! Thanks for your help. We'll be back if we have any more questions. It's been long enough. 
Maybe you should just try switching to Agent Ray. It's a slot for mail. Not much else to see. Post office boxes for rent. Two for one special. Rent of their boxes waiting to be shipped. Or picked up. But not by anyone in this game. No, they're fine where they are. That tape is for official government business only. But since you're a fed, just go easy. We're almost out of it. It's a postal scale. It says, for government use only. Violators will be prosecuted to the fullest. You got any uh, secondhand crystals? You got any loose change? Yo, Leute, um, I would say. Have you seen my dime? Ja, halt die Klappe jetzt. Hey, buy me a drink? So, I would say. Also, Klebeband haben wir jetzt hier. Klebeband brauche ich, ja, glaube ich, für. Ja. Für das Fingerabdruckset. Das Problem ist, das Fingerabdruckset. It's been long enough. Maybe you should just try switching to Agent Ray. Ah, können wir ja mal gucken, was passiert hier. Oh. Oh, das geht ja sogar. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. So, dann würde ich sagen, ähm, mit Agent Ray machen wir in der nächsten Folge weiter. Also, sie lebt noch. Da unten, da kommt ein Arm raus, ne? Skelett. Sie lebt noch. War ja zu erwarten. Ich meine, sonst wären ja die ganzen Sachen weg gewesen. Das Klebeband hier für... Wo ist es denn? Für das Fingerabdruckset haben wir inzwischen jetzt auch. Das können wir ganz gut gebrauchen. Ja, äh... Auf jeden Fall eine mega strange Story mal wieder. Typisch Ron Gilbert. Also, hammergeil, gefällt mir sehr, sehr gut aktuell. Jo, ich würde sagen, ich mache jetzt hier einen Cut. Und ihr schaltet das nächste Mal wieder ein, wenn es wieder heißt Thimbleweed Park. Wenn es euch gefallen hat, dann lasst mal einen Daumen nach oben da, schreibt mir was in die Kommentare und abonniert den Kanal, falls ihr es noch nicht getan haben solltet. Ich freue mich auf euch, das nächste Mal haut rein, macht's gut, bis dann und tschüss.